All right, let's talk about supplement timing because when you take something matters just as much as what you're taking. Let's start with vitamin D3 and K2. Take these with a meal that has fat during the day. Why? Because naturally we get vitamin D when the sun's out, your body expects it during daylight hours, not at night, and the fat helps significantly with absorption. Now magnesium, this one's flexible, day or night, but here's the key. Keep it away from high fiber and high fat meals. A little fat, a little fiber is okay, but too much will actually bind to the magnesium and block absorption. B vitamins have a similar concept. B vitamins need to be away from coffee. I know, I know, but caffeine can break down the molecular structure of certain B vitamins and reduce how much we absorb. So space them out from your morning coffee or tea. Now omegas we wanna take with fat, but we also want to avoid high iron foods like red meat. Iron oxidizes omega-3s, which basically damages them before our body can use them properly. Now creatine, this matters. Multiple studies show that taking creatine after training can slightly outperform taking it before when it comes to lean mass and strength gains. After we lift, our muscles are primed to soak up nutrients, including creatine. Pairing it with protein and other carbs helps drive it into the muscle even more. Now collagen benefits from similar timing. Take it after exercise with vitamin C. Exercise boosts blood flow to the tendons and ligaments, which normally don't get much. That improved circulation helps deliver the amino acids and cofactors needed to stimulate collagen synthesis right where it's needed. Now here's a trick most people don't know. Take salt and electrolytes 30 minutes before coffee or tea. Let's just say before caffeine. Caffeine, especially when we're not habituated, can act as a mild diuretic and can increase sodium loss through urine, sometimes up to 400 milligrams a cup. Two cups, roughly 600 milligrams, and four cups, we could lose over 1,000 milligrams of sodium without even realizing it. Now finally, CoQ10, we wanna take this after a meal with fat. It's fat soluble and your body tolerates it much better when there's food in your system. Now timing isn't everything, but it is a variable that we can control. When we're already investing in quality supplements, you might as well optimize how your body uses them. That's supplement timing decoded. Save this guide to reference as you need it.